This video is an intended for mature audience. Viewer discretion is advised. All birds were legally taken and harvested humanely. What's up guys and welcome to another episode here on Coyote Scout. We have a special one for you today. Cooking with Coyote Scout. This is not sponsored by Krispy Kreme Donuts. I want to make that clear. So obviously today it occurred to me that, you know, I do have some friends and there's a lot of people out there who have not processed a bird yet. So I'm going to teach you how to do that today. So you have your bird here. Your discretion is advised. All right, so the first step you're gonna do, this is an educational video. You're gonna take your wing, you're gonna firmly grasp it as close as you can to the joint. You're gonna firmly twist, and it helps if you do a motion like that, different direction. Yeah, so as I said, you'll just take the wing with your right hand, grab as close as you can to the body, and grab the body, and twist in opposite directions and pull, and that's the easiest way to get the majority of the wing off. Then you're gonna wanna defeather it. You don't have to get all the feathers off just as long as most of the breast feathers are off, you're fine. All right, so down here where like the pelvis area would be on a person, you're gonna feel at the bottom of the breastbone, you'll feel a little point. You wanna stick your finger just behind it with your thumb firmly, uh, dive into the bird and then slide your thumb through the top through the neck with the other hand pulling away from the bird that'll get rid of the majority of the carcass and then you just want to get rid of this little excess stuff right here and it's always good to have a uh, you got a cat litter bucket or anything that uh that helps a lot okay. all right so the next part you're going to want to do definitely if you're not doing this outside in the yard if you're doing it inside, uh, make sure you have a little sink drain. Go ahead and put that sink drain in there. Go ahead and turn the water on. And you'll just peel this skin back. Peel as much as you can off of it. Same time, just make sure you, you know rinse off the bird a little bit. You don't have to get everything just as long as the majority of it's off. Some people like to leave um, the fat on the bird. I try to pull as much as I can off just because I like uh, the leaner meat and you don't want that like fat on it what you want to do next right here where the breastbone is you're going to want to go to the just the side of it same thing dig your thumb in and then follow that breastbone down this can be harder with birds that uh have been shot pretty bad so just keep that in mind same thing just he got artery shot. Yeah. So keep that in mind. The next, once you've rid that plate down, the next easiest thing to do is get it like this. Right here, you have your uh, basically shoulder for the bird. You want to go just above the bone and twist just like that. And that'll produce one of the breasts. Go ahead and give that a good rinse off. Um, always check it for. You know, if you artery shot it, you know, clean out that artery blood. And then, uh, any BBs. Clean out any BBs. Go ahead and put that in your bag. And then any excess, you know, you just come in through there again. And get as much as you can off of it. You don't have to get everything, just as long as you get the majority of the meat. Doves don't have a lot of meat on them in general, so... Just getting the breast bones pretty much the best part same thing on the other side just take that this bird I shot up pretty good so same thing ride your thumb right by the breastplate guide it down until it separates just like that you got your wing shoulder right there grab the meat twist There you are. It's a beautiful looking brush right there. Yep. And like I said, once you have the breast meat out, um, if there's any little bit left, you know, go ahead, take your thumb, you know, get as much of the meat off, meat off as you can. 
even though this is a little bit of meat, you know you could do it um, if you're making dubbed chili, you know, you get some Hormel chili. You uh, cook this meat up in a skillet or something with some Worcestershire sauce and then put it in your uh, chili. It makes pretty good chili. And other various, your toothpick, uh, toothpick appetizers. Just ball it up, cook it, saute it. And there you go. That's how you clean the dough. Oh yeah. Jerry got one. Hold the back. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, yeah. Red gold. Red gold. <laughs> Ooh, almost lost it. Our uh, 